Yeah, here we are in the shop today. Haven't seen this cart in a while. Just uh, pulled it out, cleaned it up a little bit. A little bit of semi dirty. <laughs> yeah, it had a little little bit of dust on it, a little grime on it. Still a little bit, still a little bit of grime on it back here. Engine on it was the last place we ran this. I think was fall challenge at Delmar, maybe. Don't remember. But May second, nope. May second is uh, Broadhead. This hasn't been run since uh, Broadhead. Well, maybe it was, yeah. Last June. Yeah, that's right. It was since last June. July. Broadhead July. was July. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready. Broadhead's coming up Sunday, May second. First race, vintage race of the year. Don't know which carts we're going to run. Probably, we'll probably have this out and getting it tested. Uh, so we got a couple, a few races we want to get it in this year. Uh, making a few little changes to it. Six one carts already out of here, prepped, ready to go test. This cart, we don't run an expansion pipe on it, so not even set up for an expansion pipe. So we run uh, modified 49 or Sportsman with it. And then uh, we just did the Firing up on the Yamaha cart, the Invader. It's got a new fairing on it, new colors. Well, same colors. Uh, more flame. Bigger fairing. Bigger fairing. Turned out really nice. Looks really good. A little dark in here, so I'll get out a little and see some of the light. Likely you'll see this at uh, Sugar River on May 2nd. And you'll probably see some of our rear engine stuff there. But uh, we gotta get out and get to testing and get going on this stuff. Right after uh, Sugar River is Springfield. About two weeks later, VKA Springfield. And we still haven't completely decided what carts we're taking. We know all three of mine are going and then one of dad's. And that's how you adjust the engine. Rubber mallet. This one's got a max torque on it. You can see him pulling the max torque off. See if he knows what he's doing. He's breaking the chains. It's the old docking tune. There you go. Breaking the chains. 1980s. Tooth and nail. Shows how old we are. So when you get done pushing this link back in, this pin back in the chain, then you want to take it over to your vise. You get it in where it makes contact, then you back it off a little bit because it'll kind of straighten out to go through there. And then when you get done pushing the pin in, you come back over to the vise with your hammer and you put a couple little dimples on that to peen that 
back over so that pin can't come back out of there. And if you are at the track, you want to have a piece of metal, heavy metal with you so that you can hold that on one side and peen on the other side. Because you're not going to have your vise there. Yep. So a little bit of advice for Tom Kelly. Even though I use the gearbox on everything. Tom, if you were listening, that's what you gotta do with the chains. You gotta use chains, not gearboxes. Chains. <laughs> Chain and sprocket. So. Working on the chain gang. Yeah, there's a song like that, but I don't remember the words. What do you want now? That's really old. Well, that's why I use like me. That's why I use the uh, reference breaking the chains, because then that made us not sound so uh, so old. That was like. Donnie Dawkins doing that in 1987 or something like that, 86 maybe. Before they were a hair band. So there he's looking to see how, how uh, much tension's in that chain. And then I'm going to turn it over and see if it's got a high spot, and yep. it usually will. Yep. These sprockets aren't exactly true. The hubs aren't exactly true. And the hubs aren't Nothing's exactly true. true. It's old. This is pretty close. A lot of times you can take, you get that high spot, that tight spot, loosen the nuts up, take a, take a mallet, and tap on the, yep. on the sprocket half, and that will uh, get move that. that around enough to get rid of some of that tight spot. Yep. pretty good on that one. That's, yeah. that's pretty true. Yeah. Two strokes. A little bit different than the four stroke guys. And this rear engine stuff's different too. You don't rear have engine. all that extra chain. And, yep. and Rear engine's a lot different. And uh, there's the business end of it right there. That's something that Tom Kelly really needs to pay attention to. He needs to be doing chains. Not gearboxes.